My name is Jason Pino. I'm the father of Madison Pino, who currently has a AHC diagnosis, and also the father of Marley Pino, which they're also looking at as a possible another AHC diagnosis. I'm not biologically Madison's father. Um, when I came into the picture, Madison was going through a bunch of testing with uh, Dr. Foster and she was trying to rule out anything, try to figure out what was wrong with with Madison. And it took us a while to get to her, but at the end of it, she, when she couldn't find anything, she had to go over, over and see Dr. McCarty. And when we saw Dr. McCarty, he gave her the AHC diagnosis. Uh, the best way I've found to explain it is HC is kind of like, it's like a seizure, but it's not a seizure. It's kind of like the brain is working, but it just does random things for no apparent reason. It's not like a seizure where it's all chaotic. It's just the brain functions. It's also malfunctions, and you could go limp. You could go cyanotic. You can skip a heartbeat. It just every kid is different. For Madison, it's been hard. Madison has, uh, I believe, nine different types of HC episodes. And the few medications that she's, they found that helps, like flunarazine, she's actually been allergic to. So it's, we're still trying to find medications to help her. We have her seizures a lot under control, but with being in school and a lot of stimulus and trying to let her be a kid, we go back and forth between the different types of episodes that she has. And it's it can be really hard at times because she could be a sweet little girl one day and she could be extremely aggressive the next day or be completely limp or not know who anybody is. Just every day is different. We're just, we're glad that we know what we're looking at. It's not like we don't know. And we found great people. Um, Jeff and Renee have been great people. We pretty much spend every holiday together with the family. They're our family away from home. Um, now having Mattis, or Marley into the picture now as another possible AHC, they're following her because there's not very many cases of families that have a different biological father and two kids, you know, two kids with different biological fathers having AHC. So they've, it's been kind of hard. Uh, I think it takes a toll on my wife a lot more than it does me because, you know, whatever the kids, whatever's wrong with them, I accept them. I love them unconditionally. Currently, Marley is going through the process with Dr. McCarty with looking at a possible AHC diagnosis, trying to do every test to rule out um, what we call zebras. And the last test that uh, we just had done was the spinal tap to rule out any any problems that could be picked up in the spinal fluid. Um, if I'm not mistaken, if that comes back clean, he's going to um, label her as uh, AHC. He's already given her having uh, hemiplegic attacks. So if this comes back clean, I believe that, that he's going to give her the AHC diagnosis as well. That's what he's leaning towards because she's not having seizures currently. So the only thing that's fitting with the spells and stuff that she's having is some sort of hemiplegic attack. And that's why he's going through his rounds of testing, EEGs, MRIs, MRAs, spinal taps to rule any kind of other neurological mitochondrial disorders out. And we're getting towards the end of the line. And because she's presenting symptoms and as before having a different biological father than Madison does, he wants to make sure that if, if she has it, he wants to be sure because that's, there's not too many kids like that. Melissa has high functioning autism. She has some seizures that are pretty well controlled and she has ADHD and PTSD.
Dr. Uh, Makati has cleared Melissa of not having AHC. We've actually had, my wife has a little bit more on that. We've actually had a bunch of people reach out to us through, you know, the AHC network. We try to talk to as many families as we could. And we've heard of people using, using the cannabis oil and ha having really good effects with uh, the seizures. Uh, we're still a little unsure of that. Um, it's not illegal yet in this state. Um, there's a lot of people saying that it works really good for seizures. I don't know what kind of effect that would have on HC. If it works, it might be something for Madison because she's got almost every type of has had almost every type of seizure. You know, she's had the grand mal's, petit mal, consort fractals, catatonics. And she has, Dr. McCarty has, has her, when she had her last ambulatory EG, is having constant seizures throughout the day. Currently, she's on trileptol, uh, levictericine, and abilify for seizures. Another family that just came up, uh, name's Melissa Kitchens. For her, it was just nice knowing that there's other families out there and that she's not crazy because you go out in public and people look at you like you're crazy. They tell you you need to stay inside. Oh, your kid can't behave because they're screaming because they're in pain or they're having a seizure. And they, you know, I've been stopped in stores and said, well, you need to keep your kid inside. And it's hard because people don't know. They don't. They just expect that kids be normal, and kids aren't normal. And then they have every right to be out. And me and my wife have made up little cards that has Madison's web page and AHC diagnosis and what it is. And if people come up and they ask us, we hand them a card. But it, it gets hard. I mean, we've had people sit there and point and laugh at Madison's helmet in the middle of a mall. It just, it's really hard seeing people don't take the time to say, hey, there's this kids have a problem. And they're just like, oh, hey, ha, 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 that's, that's funny. You know, they wear, they wear a helmet. Or, well, your kid can't keep quiet. They should go inside. You shouldn't take them out if they can't be quiet or behave. Just, they're not, we're not, you know, it's more, you know, for the other families, like, you're not crazy. There's other people out there. You know, on our Facebook, anybody that comes up and asks us questions, we always try to help. Anybody that we know comes up, we invite them over for dinner to our house. They get invited over to the Wewich family for dinner. Everybody we know, we try to communicate because the more people that know and families that communicate, you know, feel better about ourselves and everybody else. And from a couple of families that we talk to, they uh, they feel better because then they know they're not crazy. Mm -hmm.